Okay, guys. Let's try this again. Hi, I'm Shauna, and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Once again, I apologize for my voice. Thought it was coming back, but I was so wrong. Anyways, we have an 8x10 canvas from the Dollar Tree. And the brand name is uh, Craft or Square. Um, if you need another demo, I have other videos that have it. But I pr already kind of threw away that tag, sorry. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do here is... I already put my black on it, but I wanted to show you something and point it out. Look at the cells. They're already popping out on this canvas. It's amazing. Um, usually you use the, um, the paint that does not have the chemicals in it already. But I kind of used the wrong one. So we're going to go with what we got. Okay, the first thing I am going to do, I'm just going to add a little more black to work with, okay? I'm going to go ahead. We're going to grab our cup, which I totally forgot to get out. Let me grab our cup here. Okay. Now, with the colors we got, again, are the black, white. Pull some white in here. Blue. Uh, this one should have been pulled out. This one should have gone in. Make sure I mixed it. Yes, okay. And then all red. And we're going to try white. And then we're going to add some more red. Just a little. Then on top of that, we're going to add a little bit of black. And then we'll go ahead and add more white. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, more blue. It's like, wait a minute, don't do that. <laughs> then we're gonna add a white. Okay, and this is more than enough paint for this size canvas, what we're doing. So this is what it looks like right now. Let's see what we get, shall we? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, whoops, sorry, get this to, Move in some of the directions I actually wanted it because I wanted to add more. Just in the way that we're going to be doing this, we're going to add the black. All right. Now we're going to start from one end. Let me adjust this camera just a little. Watch you guys' this beautiful eyes here. Hope you can see the whole canvas now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start from one end to the other. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start from towards me away to away from me. And I'm going to go slow. It already has cells starting, you guys. Can you see that? It's pretty amazing. And we'll go all the way across. All the way, all the way, all the way down. And I'll go ahead and stop there. And now we're going to go ahead and do something different. Normally at this point, you guys, you use a straw, you blow it around. But I don't have enough um, power in my lungs right now because of my throat and everything. We're going to use our hair dryer on low heat. And we're just going to blow it out. I'm going to go ahead and take more black, you guys, on the edges, from here, because it wasn't quite going as well I wanted it to, I'm coming out faster than I was, but I was burning my hands, <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and blow it again. stop for a second I mean this is looking pretty cool you guys I'll be honest I really love this up here but we're gonna interchange it 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab where to go. Here it is. This is mixer from another project. Go ahead and use that. The only thing I am gonna do to this one is I'm gonna add the white. I just add it all. There ain't much in it left. So we add all white. And I'm just gonna go right back over this section here again. Um let me take the one we got. We're gonna add this right in here. I'm just trying to get some of that other color to come out. And we're gonna go ahead and stop it there. I don't know if this will work. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, fantastic. And now we're gonna go ahead and just try to add some of that. There's our bubbles. Don't really want to ruin the white there. So I'm gonna just go around it with this other color here. And we'll come out through here and maybe a little down here to try to even it out. All right, now we get our hair dryer and we're gonna get going with this. On low. Take my white anyways off. Okay, I'm bringing it up high. I'm going to put some over here. I'm going to add a little bit right here at this corner. Just don't like the serration of that side. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to get this to smooth out of here. Take a, a little stick or whatever you got. Let's go ahead and just, let's experiment guys, why not? No law says you can't. Let's just see what we can get. Bring some over here. Alright, now we're just going to see how much cells we can get. Moving the paint a little. Let me get it to pour, so I'll just pour it. I just really like how that blue and purple is blending. So we're just going to go ahead and pour it. We'll get what I was trying to do. And we'll add our heat. You guys, sometimes what you're trying to do when you're doing paint pool, simply, sometimes it's not going to be what you want. Sometimes it's not going to work. Like I said, it has a mind of its own. Sometimes you just got to go with it. So that's what we're doing here right now. But we're just going with this. Let's crack it over here. Awesome, awesome. Can we crack this side open? Love it. Crack all the places where there's some purples, violet. This little over here. All right. Get that on my hands here. All right, guys. What do you think? I'm going to pull the canvas, or oh, the canvas, the phone over the top so you can see it. Um, 
we do have a few little wrinkles starting here, which I also think is cool because it, it's like a new dimension coming into it. So let's just take a look at this, shall we? Watch your eyes. We're going to move this camera right over the canvas. I like the cracks. It just gives it more details. A lot of the cells did not come through, but the cracks made it. We do have some cells over here. And we'll come back this way and just kind of follow along a little bit with it. All right, guys, I hope you like this little tutorial. I'm going to set you back down. Watch your beautiful eyes. I hope you guys are like <laughs> this. There we go. Sorry, my camera is being stubborn. Hope you guys like this little tutorial. Um, sometimes you just got to go with the flow. If it changes itself or if you got to change it to make it look like something you like or what you would want on your walls, then do it. It's okay. Remember, guys, there's no mistakes in art. As Bob Ross always says, there's happy little accidents, right? I think these paint pouring is a, <clears throat> excuse me, is a lot of fun. If you guys like paint pouring, please let me know in the comment. Whether if you guys don't like paint pouring, please let me know in the comment. And with that said, you guys, you guys stay safe out there, stay healthy, and. Above all, be blessed.